Hey everybody, welcome back to Sea King's Fun House. I'm all pumped up. Oh yeah, never heard that one before. So you probably remember this guy. It's like a guy with a tentacruel, a Sea King and a Whelmer. Just like seemingly every guy on this freaking route. Okay, Ampharos, let's try our best. Just thunder wave this. Now it's paralyzed. Now we use a confuse ray. Okay, it hurt itself. That's ideal. And now we just right up nicely, like one does in Asia. No, oh, two times in a row. Must be my lucky day. Good night, son. It's like it's so hard to fight things with Ampharos because it only has Thunder Shock. Wild Charge. I mean, it's not what I was asking for, but it's another Electric type move. Do I get rid of Thunder Shock for this? Isn't Wild Charge a knockback move? I will try because we can just really on Swift if we wanted to. Now there comes the Sea King. Now I think it's maybe the straight up going for Hydro Pump, so we just go for Wild Charge. Actually goes for a Flail at full HP. Oh yeah, it's a knockback move, okay. Please don't be enough. It's not enough! <laughs> Good night, okay so... Wild Charge is nice. However, now I'm a little bit concerned because Ampharos only knows electric type moves. Will we change the Pokemon? Maybe. Uh, slow poke. Let me just use the opportunity to heal up Ampharos here. Okay, I mean, that seems to be a normal move, okay. That's a lot of damage. Okay, but now Ampharos should be fit enough to just wild charge another time. And then after this fight I immediately have to check out how strong wild charge actually is. Okay, let's see. Wow, one hit, okay. I mean, it's also costed a lot of HP, but we can knock things out now. Wait, I'm already out of Pokemon? Give me back my 4,800 Pokedolls from last episode, man. <laughs> okay, Ampharos. Wild Charge is a 90 power move, okay. Sadly a physical move. Tackle that also hurts the user, yeah. It's actually the main problem. Uh, another super potion for you. So we don't really want to use Wild Charge all the time. But sometimes we just have to. My 100th lap for the day. Time for a break with a battle. Man, I... Like, I had swimming classes in high school, and let me just say, I totally suck at swimming. Like, maybe I can swim like 20 rows or something. I admire everyone who's a good swimmer. Our swimming teacher was actually like a military drill instructor, and he was like, swim, 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 and then, like, if you made below 25 rows in like 8th grade or something, then you just you just failed the class. <laughs> you just straight up failed. It's like, okay. Okay, so this thing is getting a little bit too hot for me. Let's bring in bronzing here. Uh, 
Okay, good one. Nice turn. This guy's just standing there and you miss him, alright. Yeah, so you just failed the class. Like, I was like, oh man, I swam like, I don't know, like 23 rows, this is my personal best. He's like, okay, you get a 6. Like, our grading system is from 1 to 6 where I'm from. I was like, okay, I guess I'll just not try next time. I would rather not be exhausted and get a fail in that class than try my best and still fail, you know? Okay, nice Blastoise, man. I love that sprite. Uh, I will drain kiss this. Yeah, so basically... It scarred me for life, that swimming class. I, I actually hate swimming now. <laughs> It took me a long time to just go to like a public pool and swim for fun. Like if I like I used to go to public pools with my dad and my younger brother like in high school or like in senior high school. But I never just went swimming, I always just went in the water and like and now played like water volleyball or something like that. Because I always associated swimming with this, it's like this pressure to just push your body beyond its limits against your will, you know? I was like, swimming? No, thank you. And it took actually like six years for me to overcome my dislike of swimming. Land. Yeah, Pokemon may be able to move this, alright. Yeah, I guess this is not the end of the route, huh? Some douche just put a boulder on the stairs. Wait a second, can you actually not go here when you're not when you don't have strength? You don't have strength, right? Hey, okay, so I guess you just have to enter from another side? Because this is all deep water, right? Yeah. Okay, hey, that actually sucks, though. You know what? It's time for Super Repel. Oh, it's still in effect, okay. Now it's not in effect anymore. It was still in effect because I swam to that one guy that knocked us out last time. Okay, so what they're telling me is this route is completely useless and pointless. That's good to know. Thank you for your time. Okay, then let's get back to some actual land here. Take out our PGO to from the PC and then fly to another town. They should just allow you to fly like Pokemon Sword and Shield do. Like you just mouse over one of them, then you click. You don't need a freaking flying type in your party. It's like, disclaimer, I never have a flying type in my party. And when I do, it can actually not learn fly. So like, I have a ninja-esque or something. Hey, Pidgeotto. Take me to where we need to be. You cannot just take me here, right? No, that would have been too nice. Go back to this freaking mess of a town. Okay, and then we put Pidgeotto back in there. We can't forget our Surf Pokemon, of course. Let's go, Slowpoke. If I... I have a King's Rock, right? I cannot just give this... Like... To Slowpoke and then... It will evolve, right? I will give it to that... Uh, to Slowpoke for now. 
maybe when it levels up it evolves. I was thinking about this just now because this is a ROM, so you can't really trade, right? Like, at least as far as I know, this has no trading functionality. Okay, for now, don't use another repel, please. Need to go south. I think for that we need to go west here. But I hate the 360 D-pad. Yeah, that is a cave that leads southwards. Get around as much water as possible. Oh, there's also TM. I mean, I just assume it's a TM because it's yellow. Yeah, oh, <laughs> okay. That seems familiar. I'll take it. The water is calm. Good for the water. Man, there's a lot of swimmers here. Yeah, Ampharos, can you do this? We have a thunder shock. Nope, still not enough. Oh, thank goodness, it only uses barrier, so that's free EXP. Man, like... The ruins hold a lot of mysteries, so I'm told. And this place is even more popular with swimmers, it seems. Oh look, but it's actually not a tentacruel this time. A little bit afraid of the slowpoke though. Just a wild charge. Okay, that was not bad. The real coil though. Oh, almost another level up. And the slow bro. Now it now it's getting interesting. Okay, I was faster than Slowpoke. Okay, that worked. And then I confuse you. Oh, you have like oblivious, so I can't confuse you. All right. And there we go again. Hey, it's a slowpoke. Make it flinch. Okay, it's fully paralyzed. <laughs> you can do the slowpoke. Yeah, I was hoping we could just... Like... Make it flinch and paralyze it all the time. Oh, yeah, it flinched one time, okay. Oh, it flinched a second time. It's fully paralyzed. <laughs> and another flinch. Nice. Slowpoke couldn't be stopped. Really want to give it a level up. The next one is a Slow King, okay. Just change into Gardevoir here. Hoping it will use a Psychic type move. Ah no, just a normal headbutt. Now, as long as we are fast, we can probably recover enough HP to just stay on top. Because it shouldn't be able to make us flinch because it's there's no way of it getting faster, except it knows something like Thunder Wave, which I doubt. Okay, it's going for the step now. Didn't actually do that much. We need like a big root for God War. Big root increases the amount of HP you can sap from enemies by like 50% or something. So wouldn't that mean that, like, Draining Kiss actually 
heals more than it does damage? Does it work? I shouldn't even have gone for another draining kiss there, but oh well. Good night. Hey, okay, Gardevoir is trying to learn Zen Headbutt. You're not really a physical attacker, right? So. I'd rather learn Psychic, actually. And Slowpoke grew to level 33. Fine, I'll just explore the area myself. Okay, it doesn't just evolve by holding a King's Rock. Oh, look at that. Noise pulls, okay. It's TM78, an attack that may cause confusion. A lot of Pokemon can learn this, actually. Sounds like a special attack, to be honest. Maybe I get rid of Icy Wind here. And then we just look at it. 75 attack, but only 90 accuracy, that sucks a little bit. Well, okay, I can live with that for now. Okay, there's a cave entrance. Yeah, that, like, that actually scares me a little bit. The other one in front, probably still fine. Nalja Ruins, okay. Do you want to fight? There are several hidden pits inside the Nalja Ruins. You can jump over pits to try and reach new areas and you can also jump over pits that haven't been uncovered. It's just in case you want to be careful. Okay, yeah, he's just telling me about that I have the jumping shoes. Thanks for the reminder, actually. Are there no Pokemon in here? Man, there is like, there are some big runes. Oh, there are Pokemon in here, okay. Look at that. I actually like the small guy. This confusion here. Oh yeah, please just endure, that's actually good. Okay. I really wouldn't like you to become confused there. But you have, so... Just stay in the ball, please. Okay. That's a good girl. Trepinch, the ant pit Pokemon. It makes a conical pit in desert sand and lies in wait at the bottom of... Uh, at the bottom for prey to come tumbling down. It's actually just based on an ant line, I think. The description pretty much confirms that. Okay, this leads into Clefright Tunnel. Hey? What's to the north here? In the, this little area is desert themed, it seems. Might as well signal beam here. The signal beam animation is so intense. It's like it's a hyper beam or something. It's an oasis. Oh, it's an oasis. Do you want to take a relaxing sip? Uh, dip? That was soothing. The Pokemon are now fully healed. I didn't expect that at all. Also, it's kind of funny to have a cave, but then it's ruins inside, and then there's an oasis. It's like... Okay. Goodbye, girl. Okay, so this leads deeper into the ruins. Oh, I like that. It's a really nice palette, actually. Now just watch everything being ruined by a super, like, 
obnoxious puzzle or something like that. Hmm, a haunter. Switch into bronze on here. Okay, nice try. Um, Zen headbutt. Yeah, we can take a Shadow Claw. Oh god, but you can't take us in headbutt. Okay, good to know. Another level for Ampharos then. Okay, didn't expect that. Are you kidding me? Is it like is this really what we're doing now? It's like pits, but you actually cannot see them. I'll use a super repair right now. Even though the enemy density doesn't seem that high here. Oh look, the yellow ranger. Oh, I love to see you again. Um, maybe I'll just put Taranta in charge here. We're down to two, but we're not going to stop. We've developed a strong partnership that'll make Green and me rich. You say so. Okay, nice. She actually starts with an electric type. Okay, the barrier is a little bit of a, a little bit of a bummer. Okay, nice try with the thunder there. I was actually hoping, like, it doesn't know fighting that move at all, because those hit Tarenta really, really hard. Okay, it can hit the thunder somehow and paralyze us. That seems very unlikely. Usually thunder has like a 50% accuracy in sense from at least like the newer generations. I don't know whether they programmed this into this one now that I think about it. Okay, but here's a Hariyama. You can do this right, Gardevoir. Thing also has guts. Let's hit it with a confusion first. Oh wow, okay. Good night. Then there's a Lunatone. What do you even want to use against that? Maybe Bronzo? Could actually also have used Slowpoke. Okay, nice paints from the body. I would actually like to use Bronzong instead of Slowpoke because Bronzong is going to stay in our party. At least if you ask me. Oh god, please don't blame me like this. Oh yeah, paint split. It's so funny. <laughs> Time to die, boy. Okay, there we go. And there's Typhlosion. Okay. I mean, that feels a little bit weird. Oh yeah, I'm paralyzed. Uh, just go with a rock throw them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that was nice. You know what? Typhlosion time. I feel like we haven't used ty our Typhlosion in a long time now.
Okay, if I use nature power here, maybe it will become like earthquake or something. Turned into earth power, yeah, that was actually what I was thinking about. Nice. Tactical nature power. Also nice level up for Tarenta. And Ampharos. And then there's the Jolteon. I mean, we might as well stay in. We have a ground type move. I mean, technically. Wow, I'm actually surprised that Typhlosion is faster than a Jolteon. I mean, it's nine levels, nine levels difference, but Jolteon is pretty well known for being a fast Pokémon, at least to the best of my knowledge. Okay, so nice try, Yellow. It shouldn't have happened again. When will you ever learn? Please stop. We find the Stone Turtle, we can steal its orb and harness the orb's energy. With that, we can make any Pokémon even stronger. Okay, sounds good. Can we just heal my Tyranitar here? And we just put Ampharos in front again. Okay, let's go up a level. Oh, an item, okay. A blue jewel. Oh, we put it in the key pocket, so that must be important then. An ancient jewel from Nalja Ruins. I kind of hate that we found something that's color-coded that tells me there's a puzzle coming up. Hmm. Whoa, this arrow smells poisonous. Better not touch it. Okay, up we go then, I suppose. I try to like step carefully here. Because I'm anticipating everywhere to have those little pitfalls. This room smells very toxic, it's too hard to breathe up here. Okay. Yep, there we go. Damn, this is actually like another big ruins thing, huh? Yeah, I'll just use just use another repel. Oh. Can jump over these, right? Yeah, okay. Pearl! Not what I was expecting. I can hear a clicking sound. So there's probably also a hole there. That's funny. Okay, if I just race here. Wow. You got me. <laughs> that, that was pretty good. All that for TM37 Sandstorm, huh? And that doesn't seem like a nice find to be honest. Here's just the toxic room again. Yeah, so there must be some mechanism to turn that off. I'll take the fast way down. Okay, this is just a stair stone here. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted here. And welcome, <laughs> welcome back to the floor level. Maybe there's actually something down here. Well, there's a lot of stairs up here. Man, this place just seems to be absolutely huge. Okay, nice one. Yes, but all the stairs seem to maybe lead to the same thing here.
Let me just carefully click my way forward. A gas mask, nice. Convenient. So now we should probably be able to just go to the top floor. Protects from deadly toxins. Some of my brain didn't make the connection that there's already a hole there. Okay, that doubt trap didn't go off. The switch is on and labeled Murum. This is a Latin word, I don't know what it means. Now wait, let me just go up here again. There is a TM or something. Wait, how did they even get there? Man, there's, there's so many like trap panels here. Okay guys, I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I'll be right back with exploring the ruins a little more. This is not too bad, I feel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.